riding a motorcycle is a completely elective activity. Nobody has to ride a motorcycle. I mean, you do inside, right? But the world doesn't demand it of you. When you take something that's got all the elements of freedom, of control, of danger in it always, it's an allure that's uh, almost impossible to beat. If you ever liked a cowboy movie and you, know, you see the guy riding across the high plains on a horse, and you go, yeah, this guy's living the dream. You see the freedom in it. That's what pulled me into motorcycles to begin with, was I saw a guy ride by on a motorcycle. And I went, better than a horse, better than a bicycle. Getting the technology of how to ride the motorcycle is what gives you that freedom. The California Superbike School is all about cornering. Everybody can do the straight part, right? So we've broken down those skills that are necessary to be able to ride a motorcycle around a corner into easy bite-sized pieces so that the riders can gain that control and the confidence that they really want. Motorcycles don't crash very easily. And it's never just one error that the rider makes. It's a series of errors. We have a tendency to run on our own survival instincts. And we can be assured when it comes to motorcycle racing that if you're riding by instinct, you're doing something wrong. You can't coach yourself. It's so, so, so difficult. Motorcycle riding, especially racing, has not been a traditionally coached activity. But what athlete doesn't have a coach? Turn two at this track has a characteristic that makes it a solution, actually, to one of the great problems that riders have, and that is being drawn into the corners too soon. Half of the challenge of it is your ability to actually see it. It's coming up over a rise, and as soon as your pace goes up, then it's in your face way too fast, it seems. It teaches you the difference between riding what your eyes see and riding a corner with understanding. You know, your ability to place yourself in, you know, time and space is, it's, it's intimate. You know, it's like a push-pull kind of an aspect that, you know, when you get some control over it, then you have this, you know, kind of awakening of senses. That's as good as it gets.